you over here on my channel today all right and we're going with gaslighting what's gaslighting emotional abuse Woo! people challenge what you know and try to make your reality into insanity and try to make you think you crazy as a role lizard oh we're talking about abuse a manipulation deception and they try to gain control of the situation. They just try to gain control of everything. We're going to talk about five types of gaslighting. Because you know what? Narcissists love to do this. People be throwing that word narcissist around. But we're going to cover. We're going to cover all. We're mm. going to cover all of them. All 11. Just a smaller one. But we're going to get them all. But today we're going to start with the gaslighting tool of blaming. Yep. You made, you made me do it. I didn't do it. You made me do it. You crazy. You unreasonable. What you mean? And you need it. You could be having a normal day in the neighborhood and that person be sitting up there gaslighting you talking about. You know you need it. No, it's the narcissist that's the one that's needed. It's the narcissist that are not taking responsibility. They're not looking. They're suffering from the shaggy syndrome. It wasn't me. They'll tell you, why you acting like that? Why you questioning me? Who you think you are? I can question anybody I want to. You know, oh, it's your fault. You made me do it. You made me do it. They don't take responsibility for nothing. Yeah, they're oh. not looking in the man in the mirror with Michael Jackson. Well, it's denial time. Mm -hmm. Here we go. With, they just out, outright deny something. They just got a, a brain fall. It's worse than a brain fall. They, they will tell you it didn't happen. Mm. They flat out deny. Now, it's a difference from looking crazy and just straight out just saying they didn't do it at all. They got that selective memory. I don't remember what happened. There were several people at the party. They all seen you do it. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't, they don't, they taking my side. They saw you do it. You the one made, if I did something and I reacted out, it's because you made me do it. Now, the thing about that is, how you know what all these people at the party thinking anyway? You can't. <sighs> and there's evidence right there it's called camera evidence we got iphones and ipads nowadays and we got tape recorders so you can, it's hard for you to deny it Ooh, you was too sensitive oh boy oh you mean your emotions just too much for me you just every time i look around you booing you know you crying you're just too needy you know and they love they love coming up on people that's vulnerable and they love them people with low self-esteem they do Mm hmm They'll tell you, stop crying. What's the big deal? You're just making a mountain out of molehill. That's their molehill they're doing it too. They're not even compassionate. They're unhuman themselves. They, they need to listen to Ralph Chasovitz's sensitivity. Well, you better watch this one right here. Because this the killer of all killers, that joking type. The gaslighter, he going to accuse you of misreading him, his hateful comments, dismissive and threatening mm. interaction in the relationship oh domestic violence is coming around the corner this abusive relationship they need to downplay the situation to make you feel like it ain't that deep it ain't that serious it is very serious i was just joking you can't take a joke Hi. they're not dave Chappelle. they're not richard pryor they're not john oliver or john stewart how you they're criminals how you joking with me and i'm sitting up at the hairdresser with a black eye and you pulled a gun on me. That ain't no joke. That ain't no joke at all. I'm taking that serious. Mm -mm. And then say, lighten up. It was just a joke. No, no, it ain't. No, that wasn't no joke. And if they say they're going to kill you. They're going to kill you. They believe them. They're going to kill them. It's like Maya Angela say, when they show you who they are, believe them. Well, then you got that one that says, no one ain't going to believe you. Then they turn up the volume. You know why they turn up the volume? Because they'll tell you. First of all, you realize that I'm manipulating you. Mm -hmm. And you realize that you ain't crazy. So I see that already. Mm -hmm. So now what I got to do is I got to threaten your social environment. I'm Tell somebody. I dare you to tell somebody. And if you tell somebody, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull your support system right out from under your feet. That's right. Mm -hmm. I dare you. Because they already think you crazy. So here's what you have to do when you're in that situation. Like, tell everybody if you have to. Even the ones that you don't know. Yep, you know what? Gaslighters try to take control of the situation when they uncomfortable. It's, and they'll, they'll switch gears on you, won't they? They will. They switch the topic up and they'll tell you, uh, you know what? 
We're not talking about that today. Oh, we're talking about it. Even if it makes you uncomfortable. We gonna talk about it right now. But it ain't gonna happen. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen. Mm -mm. They, and see, if you stay in a situation like that too long, you'll end up apologizing for them. You'll end up apologizing for stuff that you didn't do. Mm -hmm. You start making excuses for them, you know. For their behavior, which is, wasn't your behavior to begin with. It's time to get rid of them. It's time to get rid of them. Cut them off. Cut them off on Facebook. Cut their number. Do what you have to do. You know, and even on a job, you go on a job, and your boss will sit up there and say, he offered you a raise. No, he didn't offer you nothing. He did not offer you nothing but to fire me and belittle me in front of employees. That's what he did. And this one really get on my nerves. The doctor. They got a bad habit of dismissing people's pain and telling them, you know what? I don't think you feel. How you know what I'm feeling? I sit here and told you that I was hurting. And you trying to say I ain't having no pain. It's ghost pain. My butt hurting for real. It's, it's the traditional doctors that is the narcissist. It's not the functional doctors. So let's just make that clear. It's the traditional doctors and the traditional psychologists. Not the functional ones. And then they sit up here and they can put your life at risk. At they, risk. And then they just said it's a complication as well. A complication means unaccountability. Then you know what? It's called a second opinion. It's time to roll up out of there and get you another doctor. Yep. That's what even a car salesman try to play you. A car salesman tell you, well, you know you agree agree to this higher price. I ain't came in here. I'm trying to get a deal. You don't you gonna tell me when I came in here on Tuesday I agreed to a high deal. No, I didn't. You just trying to get I'm trying uh, to rip you off, trying to make some more money. The car salesmen, the politicians, they are very nar the, the attorneys, the preachers. They are very narcissistic people. You're trying to start a beef on this channel. <laughs> right. I'm telling the truth. If it's a beef, then it's a beef, but it's the truth. All right. <laughs> I tell you what. You know, even it's a difference between having, between having poor communication and an unhealthy argument or a disagreement. You know, people do have them. But when you feel like it has taken another step, another level, then you need to communicate your needs to that person and tell them we're going to set some boundaries here. And to keep from twisting it up, you know what? I'm taking notes because the la every time I come back at you and I don't have nothing in my hand to say that you did this, you, you twist it around and say, that is me. And if you're trying to get out the relationship and you feel like your family can't jump in and help you or they didn't drove your support system out, hey, I got a number for you. It's called the Domestic Violence Hotline. Because they will go south on you. That number is 800-799-SAFE. Again, 800-799-233. Call somebody. If it's got to be Aretha Franklin, call me the minute, the moment, the second. Or Alita Adams. I get there when I can. Yeah. Hurry up because they're trying to get me. You know what? Before I go out, that was a movie. Well, it was a play at first. Yeah. And the play was in... 1938. Boy, this is a psychiatrist's dream right here. It is. It is the play. Well, they changed the play into a movie. And that movie went off in 1944. And Ingrid Burden starred in that movie. She was, she was, her name was Paula. And Charles Boyer was her husband. Oh, my brother, he came with it. He was changing the lamps on the wall, making them dimmer, had her thinking that she was crazy and telling people, he was manipulating her to the nine. Deception everywhere. Lying about everything. Trying to drive her crazy. Had her thinking she was crazy. Mm -hmm. But she wasn't. That's where the term gaslighting came from. Talking about pure psychological abuse. Pure psychological manipulation. And off the chain. Mm -mm, had her thinking, I'm crazy as a road lizard. And she wasn't. No, she but, wasn't. It was the guy that's doing the manipulating. That's the one that's the crazy one. That's the real villain. Well, you know what? I like covering this topic because we're going back and we're going to drag out all 11 of those narcissists wherever they're at. So stay tuned because it's coming up real soon. More, we're going to have 11 more narcissists coming out when we're calling you out too. All righty. So on that note, we're going to leave you out with a song. What song you going to pick to end this video? I think I'm good. I'm only human after all. Don't put your blame on me. Ragtag, mm, that's a good song. All Don't right. put your blame on me. Don't put your blame on me. <laughs> and on that note, we're out of here. <laughs>